So I had a, a visitor stop by this morning. My cousin Connor's in town. Got his first crossfit workout today. How you feeling, man? A little rough. A little rough? Yeah, yeah, got a little rowing in. Got a little handstand holding, some ring dip holding in. So it's fun having this guy come in. Actually, all of his brothers have come in and work out. So it's just cool to have family that support you and what you do. And this guy's a stud baseball player, man, all of them actually. So it's really cool to have these guys come up and hang out with us and hope to see you again soon, right? Oh yeah. This is take one of our new tripod. You got anything to say? Riveting. Back to you. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wednesday night at 10.15, down here in the basement with my thinking hat on, trying to come up with a revised version of our July 4th workout, um, because it normally has pull-ups, but we did a ton of pulling in today's workout at the gym. We had um, very high skill gymnastics and barbell with muscle-ups and snatches, so we've got to change a couple things, so I'm down here working on that while everybody's asleep and it's quiet down here in my office. I just want to kind of fill you in since I didn't uh, get a chance to make a video yesterday. Didn't get a chance to work out either because we had to take the baby to uh, the doctor for an allergy test. He's been having some issues for quite a while with his stomach and we're trying to get that all sorted out and figured out for him so he can uh, have a little bit more of an enjoyable day because usually after about lunchtime the dude gets really cranky because his stomach's hurting him so bad. So. We're hoping to get some answers and get that settled pretty soon. So I didn't get a chance to work out because his appointment was at one o'clock over at St. Joseph's. And my whole day was just kind of thrown off schedule wise. I didn't even eat lunch till like 3.30. So ended up just coming home and hanging out with the family. And I actually tried to go to bed early, which I don't normally get a chance to do. So today I made sure to try to make up some stuff. So I did get an extra piece of our endurance workout in. Um, basically did a lot of interval work this morning. So I warmed up with a 1200 meter run and then went into, um, four by 300 meter run with a 45 second rest after each, uh, right into a six by 200 meter run with a 30 second rest after each. And then it went back into a four by 300 meter run with the 45 second rest. And then I finished out with an additional 1200 meter cool down. And that gave me a total of about 3.75 uh, miles. It was pretty good. Um, wasn't too stressful. Didn't feel too tired or too fatigued. So uh, it was good to get that in this morning. Came home, ran some errands with the wife, and uh, had lunch. And made sure I got a chance to just kind of sit down, decompress. And then went back to the gym tonight and actually did the class workout. So pretty good day. I was able to make up uh, some stuff from yesterday. Feel, so I feel pretty good about being back on track. Um, schedule is going to be a little different the rest of the week at the gym. So like I said, I'm working on the new workout right now for the 4th of July for the class. Happy 4th of July, everybody. We just wrapped up an awesome morning here at the gym. We had two really good classes, lots of great energy, lots of positive vibes this morning. Uh, we had about 30 people come through, I think, this morning and take part in our uh, July 4th workout, which we had to modify a little bit from years past just because of some of the workouts we've already done this week. But it was awesome having so many people in here this morning, really just getting everybody fired up for the weekend, for what the, the day stands for and all. So I um, just want to wish everyone out there a happy 4th of July. Stay safe. It's my turn now. I'm about to hop in and take part in this workout myself. So I'll let you know how it goes later. All right, we just got done with today's workout. I uh, just wanna give you some insight uh, as far as what I thought about the workout. Um, we've done something very similar to this in years past. And just from the week itself leading into this workout, I knew I was gonna have to probably just be very smart with this. Uh, so we started with a 1776 meter run. I knew I didn't wanna kill that run. There was no point really. I kinda looked at that as an extended warm up, but going into the other movements. 
And so I actually ran that in about seven minutes and 50 seconds. So it was a really uh, just comfortable pace for me. And that way I could come in, go straight to the next part. So the main part there, when you came in was four rounds of seven box jumps at 24 inches with a step down, 17 burpees and 76 double unders. Um, I'm pretty proficient at double unders, but I knew I wanted to break those 50 and 26. There was just no reason to hold those unbroken and really get the heart rate up going back into the next round. So I do 50, take a little break, uh, take a little breather, hop back in, knock out 26. So it's a smaller set going back into the box jumps and I actually finished that uh, middle part there at 1838. And then my main priority for this workout, or my main goal was to try to do the lunges unbroken, which I knew was gonna be very, very tough, especially at that point in the workout at the end. So 243 lunges, that's 2019 minus 1776. Um, and I was able to do that. I had to really pace them out. And you can see it took me almost 10 minutes to get 243 lunges at that pacing strategy, but I was able to hold on to those unbroken. That was my major goal going into this. And that's why I had to kind of game plan the first two parts here to really make sure that I could mentally push through. I knew I could physically just from all the extra endurance stuff that I've been doing. Uh, I didn't really have a big concern as far as the endurance part, but I just knew I had to be smart on the first part leading up to it um, to really just be able to hold that through and really kind of just grind through that last little part. So those are my thoughts. I thought it was a great workout. First two classes, they killed the workout, man. They were doing awesome. So much energy today. So it really got me fired up, got me inspired to hop in. Um, I'm gonna clean up here, close down shop, go home, hang out with the family, get some food on the Traeger grill, and hopefully we'll go see some fireworks or go hang out uh, with some other friends tonight. All right, catch you guys later. Check my guy out out there getting his workout on. I'm so proud of that little guy. It's amazing what those kids take in and watch and then try to do on their own, especially with him hanging out at the gym all the time. That guy could probably basically lead the warm up at the gym for any class because he's seen it so many times. Getting those abs in for summertime. Let's see you, boy. Get your Superman's on. Yes, sir. That's my dude right there, man. All right, guys, the ribs actually finished up a little bit sooner than I thought they would. So make sure you use that temperature probe because I was expecting another hour, but they actually finished up in less than 30 minutes once we took that foil off. But that's our end product there. We've got two different rubs. You can see how they're starting to separate out. Now the bones are coming out there. So they look like they're good and ready. I checked the temperature, everything looks good temperature wise. We're gonna have some green beans. We've got some leftover coleslaw and baked beans. We're gonna finish up some watermelon. And then later tonight, we're gonna get us, what are we having tonight, babe? Having some brownies. Oh, we're gonna get them brownies, a little bit of ice cream. That's what's up. Happy Fourth still, everybody. Petty wagon, cut black on red. See my dreams unfold. Nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. If you want it, you got to see it. What a clear I feel. Got short time to bless me like I said, I do. Like a sneeze. Please put them to the squeeze and get green. Never let them move. Get in between the wounds started. Look, but I'm lying hard. If they love me when I was stuck in their head. And when I started, I go and get it. Sunday the 7th. It's about what, 7.45 in the morning. I've been up since 5.45. 
Our little guy, man, he's just struggling to stay asleep at nighttime. Really taking a toll on Kelsey and I as far as getting a good night's sleep. And once I'm up, I'm usually up. So I went ahead and got up, came up, or came down to the basement this morning. Tried to make up Saturday's workout, um, partner workout. And most of the time, I'll end up doing Saturday's workout on Sunday morning. So I came down, got the rower out and did, um, I put it on a clock instead of, um, for time set, set up and did every eight minutes for four sets, uh, 800 row, 30 Russian kettlebell swings, uh, with my 50 pound dumbbell and then 30 set up. So still got the same volume as everybody yesterday. Um, but normally on Saturdays, I try to get any extra lifting in that I miss from the week, especially from our weightlifting program. So I did some uh, of the clean accessory stuff, the clean and jerk stuff yesterday, and then also made up Friday's uh, shoulder press and bench press too. So try to make up some lifting, especially since I'm trying to get more of the endurance stuff. That's my, I guess, primary focus right now with Monday being mileage Monday and really trying to get the distance up a little bit more each Monday. And then making sure I still get the short fast intervals in at some point in the middle or towards the end of the week. So. If I've had to skip out on anything um, heavy, then I usually try to make that up on Saturday um, in addition to some of the extra weightlifting stuff. And then on Sunday morning, I'll get up, um, come down to the basement where everybody's sleeping and try to make up Saturday's workout in a solo version. And that's where we're at right now. I'm letting them sleep because we had our, like I said, had a rough night. Well, the rest of the crew is finally up now. And so I decided to make up some pancakes. Check these things out. Look how thick these things are. Awesome, they're almost like little mini biscuits. Look at these things. If you haven't heard of these, it's at Birch Benders. Make sure you go check these out. I think we get them at, where we get these at? Whole Foods? Uh, you can get them at Whole Foods, um, Kroger. Best prices at Whole Foods. Mom's in here working on our sign to put up by the road. We got the supervisor in here. Hey, supervisor. Hey, bud. Hey, hey, boy, what's you doing? Hey, man. Is mommy doing a good job? Yeah, she's doing a good job. All mm, right. All right, hopefully we'll get this sign up um, later today up on one of the main marquee boards up by the road, so be on the lookout for that. Second time. My wife's doing such a great job. Her patience is so much further along than mine. And she's a little bit more artistic, creative than I am. Two. We got two more to go. Right, sign number three was a little bit more challenging than anticipated, but with some teamwork and a few dirty words, we were able to get it up there. So we'll see what happens. We hope you guys enjoyed week one of hanging out with the Saxons, getting to see some behind the scenes stuff as far as our endurance training leading up to the half marathon and our strength training and CrossFit workouts at CrossFit North Cobb. We'll be back next week with more content, so we'll see you then.